broke out at a holiday home for disabled people in France. 17 people were led to safety and a rescue operation has been launched. The fire broke out at 6.30 a.m. at a holiday cottage in the northeastern town of Witzenheim. Authorities say there were likely several casualties. In the last half an hour, uh, well, last hour or so, the French President Emmanuel Macron posted this statement to social media. In Wittenheim, flames engulfed a holiday home that was providing accommodation for people with disabilities and their carers. In the face of this tragedy, my thoughts are with the victims, their, the injured and their families. Thank you to our security forces and emergency services. Well, joining me now uh, with the very latest is Sky's Europe correspondent, uh, Adam Parsons. And, uh, Adam, it, it feels like France, the authorities, their president are, are bracing for some further bad news on this story. Yes, they are. I, I don't think there's any doubt at all that they fear that there will be multiple fatalities uh, from this fire. Winsenheim is, is very, very close to the German border up in the northeast of the country. As you said, this fire broke out at half past six this morning, so that's half past five. Uh, back in, in Britain, uh, and uh, there were seven, nearly 80 firefighters uh, rushed there. They said that actually they put it out relatively quickly, but by then it would appear that absolutely horrendous damage had been done. Now, this property was being used, we understand, uh, by a charity to give a holiday for a group of people with disabilities. I understand that these are learning disabilities, uh, who came from Nancy, a, a city a couple of hours uh, away. And these people were being looked after along with carers in this property uh, in La Forge in Winsenheim when this fire broke out. Now, in attendance were these firefighters, ambulances, fire engines, members of the, the, the gendarmerie. It was a very significant response. Uh, 17 people evacuated, one of them in, it would appear, reasonably serious condition, taken to hospital. That is not the main cause for concern. What is very, very troubling is that 11 people have been reported missing, uh, and the AFP uh, agency is reporting that, uh, that a local official has now said that those 11 people are presumed to be dead. Now, that, of course, uh, is not in any way confirmed. But quite clearly, the French authorities do think that this is a, a grim scene. How do we know that? Well, the indications are, firstly, that message from Emmanuel Macron referring to this as a tragedy. Gérard Darmanin, the interior minister, was very quick uh, to, uh, to send a message out about this. But perhaps most notably is that the Prime Minister, Elizabeth Bourne, is on her way to the scene. I think she is due to arrive here uh, in the... or arrive there, I should say, in the coming hour or so to add her presence to this. Now, the, the, as we know from any mm -hmm. po politics, uh, figures as prominent as Elizabeth Bourne do not go somewhere uh, unless there is good reason. I think France is bracing itself for some very, very Adam. unpleasant, horrible news. Uh, sadly, on, on that uh, note, we've just had a, a, a wire cross that says, uh, from the deputy mayor of Witzenheim, Daniel Leroy, He's been speaking to BFM TV and says that three bodies have been spotted by a drone over the building of the fire and added that, uh, unfortunately, we fear that eight potentially, it says, dead people may have been killed also. I think that's a translation error, probably meaning to say, uh, unfortunately, the eight other missing people may have been killed also. Of course, uh, uh, this uh, suggesting from the deputy mayor, Adam, that uh, three bodies have been spotted. He references that eight others, of course, the figure of 11 missing um, uh, so that all does tally up. The, the implication here, Adam, from the deputy mayor that uh, they fear, based on drone footage, that three bodies have been spotted and they do fear the worst for the eight others that are missing. Yeah, that would, that would tally, Wilfred, with uh, what Christophe uh, Marot, the, the, the head of the, the local prefecture, uh, said when he referred to these people as, as 11 potentially uh, deceased, raising that spectre. Now, of course, at that point, he would have hoped that, frankly, that he was wrong, that they were potentially deceased, but somehow they had been rescued. I understand that this is 10 people who uh, have learning disabilities plus one carer. If we now are hearing that drone footage is suggesting that they've seen three bodies, then clearly that would suggest that there are fatalities. 
I think that the next process will be that the, the firefighters and the gendarmerie who are there on the scene will clearly want to get as quickly as they can into this wreckage. But what we can see from the footage is that this was a very, very fierce fire that burnt through about 300 square metres of the property. That's just over half of it uh, at a high temperature. Uh, as we know, and there you go, you can see the image of this, this inferno, as we know, none of these emergency responders will be able to go inside the building until they know that it is safe to do so. That is why they're putting drones uh, above now and, and have made this, this grim discovery of the what they consider to be the bodies of three of the 11 people missing. I'm absolutely sure that they, they will continue to hold out hope that somehow at least some of these other people ha have made an escape from this building, but I think France is, is bracing itself for uh, of some very grim news and awaiting the arrival of uh, Elizabeth Bourne, who we think will be uh, there on the scene within the hour. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.